Hello everyone and welcome back on Haruki Murakami Art. Tonight I am going to read After Dark and After Dark is set in one single night. This is the reason why I'm going to read this book in one shot through this night. And as I have told you in my latest book haul, I am going to place the camera in front of me. Of course, you don't need to watch the whole read because it will take a few hours. So I will do a little mashup in the video, show you how I am doing, if the book has any bad influence on my condition. Of course, it won't be any like torture. It is a book that I'm going to read. I'm going to enjoy the night. It has 240 pages only. I don't know how long it will take for me if I need to read until the morning. We will see in the end when I'm looking into the camera, when you can see my eye rings and how my voice is changing. I hope you will enjoy the video. I'm really looking forward to read this right now. I think it's time to let go. I will shut the lights off right now, put some candles on, do a little cozy atmosphere, and then we can start. So, enjoy. Time has come. I'm going to start right now and we'll see you in a few hours. Take care. Good morning. Yeah, we have already reached the morning. I know I told you that I'm going to give you some updates while I read, but um, the thing is, the, the book was quite short and easy to read, so I really couldn't put it aside. I hope you'll forgive me. Um, we have reached the morning right now. It is 6 a.m. And um, yeah, before I go on with my full opinion, with my full review, let me just take a shower, maybe a quick nap, get a little bit of fresh, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna talk. All right, I'm feeling much better now, so we can start with the actual review. I'm coming straight to the point, I really enjoyed After Dark. The book is quite short, so the German version has around 240 pages. I'm not sure how much the English version has. But um, the story itself is quite easy to read, as it is written quite easily, but with a very different style. So it is not a typical Murakami that we know. It is not a first-person singular uh, book. It is written from a we perspective, and it feels like a movie script. So the position that we take in is like a camera, like a moving camera. And he even describes this camera and says that we are watching from different angles, that we zoom in. The very cool thing is that he even says that we are a watching camera and this gives a very intimate but still distance perspective on the characters. So we have two main characters. It is Mari and Eri. Mari is the one who is spending the night in Tokyo just to escape from home. She's sitting in a Denny's diner and wants to read and there she meets different characters. But Let's just uh, move to the other character, which is her sister, Eri. And Eri is caught in a very long sleep. And the chapters with Eri have a really, really interesting style of writing. So Murakami even says that we are a moving eye and that we are watching Eri through a screen or that we're just standing in front of her. It is really interesting to read. It is not a typical Murakami. So as I said before, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it is a very special book. He even says that we are moving closer, that we are switching positions, that we are moving through a screen and that we watch her sleep and her different stages of sleep. Uh, he even describes little movements on her face and this is really, really interesting. Meanwhile, Mari is, uh, as I said, sitting in the diner and she meets different persons. So the first person she's meeting is an old friend of her sister. And this friend also has a reason to stay up the whole night because he is doing a jazz session with his band. Of course, it has to be jazz. And jazz is present in the whole book. They are even different songs that Murakami is imagining that is playing in the background. And of course, some crazy people on Spotify had to do a playlist of it. So I really recommend to listen to this while you read the book or just while you're enjoying the night. It is really, really cool because it creates a realistic feeling. And you are just as he is writing about a, 
a camera perspective, you really, really feel that you're watching a movie. I could really imagine that if someone is planning to do a, a short film of it, he can use this book as the actual script. I'm so sorry, I'm just jumping from topic to topic. I was talking about Mahdi and then uh, again the atmosphere caught me, so sorry if this is a little bit chaotic. Even if we have some characters that do not meet each other personally, they are somehow linked to each other. Mahdi is drugged into several happenings. Um, a lady approaches her because she knows her friend Takahashi who talked to her recently and she's um, trying to get her to uh, do a little translation for a Chinese prostitute that has been beaten up in a love hotel. And this friend of Takahashi is a form of wrestler, a female wrestler, and she's sort of a security of this love hotel. She approaches Mari, asks her to do a little translation to Chinese or from Japanese to Chinese. And the guy that has beaten up the Chinese prostitute even has its own chapters. But in these chapters, he's not meeting any other of the characters that we are reading about. But still, they have this intimate connection to each other. And it shows again the variety of characters in our society. So the man who has beaten up this Chinese prostitute is actually a loving family father. He's working in the office, working the whole night and seems to have a good bond to his wife, but he has this dark side that is, I, I know it is really, really brutal how he has beaten up the Chinese prostitute. And of course, I don't want to spoil too much. So the book is not just only a story about a journey through the night. It is also a mirror of the actual society we live in. So every one of the characters has its dark, but also his bright sides. For example, Kaoru, who is the security of the love hotel, she seems like a brutal, uh, female who is not knowing too much about love but still she has a very warm side and also her colleagues that are working with her do care about Mari and have some very soft side and they're protecting Mari somehow because she is a young girl going through Tokyo and at this time she can meet out of dangerous characters but still they protect her. I don't know if it's the fact that I read this in one single night and that the book is set in one single night, um, but I think that this is again a really, really good masterpiece and a good example of how Murakami is able to project images inside our head. Of course, every book projects images inside your head, but there's still an atmosphere. It feels like you can smell the streets of Tokyo. It feels like you're hearing the music that he is describing and that you can hear the voices of the people talking. I was constantly thinking of a film noir and it also has elements of a film noir. For example, that the guy who has beaten up the prostitute wears a trench coat, glasses, doesn't talk too much. And this is a typical character that you can meet in a film noir. Also, I was constantly thinking of Edward Hopper and Nighthawks because it shows a diner at night and somehow the people are in the same room but they don't talk to each other. So they're doing the same thing. And it even comes this far that Murakami is quoting Edward Hopper or mentioning a picture of Edward Hopper. Maybe it was an inspiration for him to write this book. Maybe it is just coincidence. I don't know. Maybe this could be another theory or inspiration for him. I don't know. I was thinking of Edward Hopper. Maybe you too. So finally, I can say that I have read another masterpiece. I really enjoyed the book, but I'm interested to hear your opinion and to read your comments. So if you have read After Dark, let me know what you think. Did you have the same impression, the same theories, maybe the same interpretation that I did, that this is a book about our society, maybe the young society in Japan? I'm not sure. Um, I think it is a very good projection, a mirroring, even if some questions aren't answered at the end. I am very pleased with the ending because it is very optimistic this time. So once the night ends, we can see another sun shining and we know that most of the characters in this book, I'm not spoiling if I'm saying that they're going to feel much better and everyone gets what he deserves. So with this word, it is time to end this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. It is a little bit different from the others, but um, yeah, I think After Dark is something that is really experimental. And I took this opportunity to make an experimental video just to match it. So take care, everyone. Have a very good day. Never stop reading, enjoy Murakami and see you soon. Take care.